Hey everybody, it's Rob from Flailthroughs. This is Gundam Battle Operation 2, and this is my GPO-1. I got this in uh, recycle tickets last month, same as a lot of folks, I think, and I really do like it. I, I wanted to get around with it myself, because the last time I ran it, I believe I had a guest round, so... And I always appreciate uh, when my friends are willing to send me uh, something with, uh, with the, you know, new mobile suit of the week, but also, I do like to try stuff out myself. Just accidentally tagged our DJ while I was trying to uh, trying to do that, but eh, it took me a little bit of time, but I managed to get it done. Uh, the GPO one is very similar to the Mark II. They have a lot of similar uh, qualities. Uh, the uh, GPO one has an EPAC beam rifle that stuns without charging. It has uh, it has pretty good melee. It has the air dash ability, and it has. Uh, a double dodge roll. The th one thing the Mark II has over it is I'm pretty sure it does more melee damage. And the Mark II also has the Vulcan pods, which are significantly stronger than the GPO-1's head Vulcans. So it, it's not a one-to-one -one match, but it's GPO-1 is certainly formidable in its own right, even now. And this is, I believe, a 600 point. No, this may only be... No, there, there's Zetas in the room, Rob. It is a 600, so it's holding its own 50 points down. And, yeah, just trying to uh, get this DJ. It got past me because I was counting on the standard Federation melee pattern, and this it does not have. So you really have to watch out uh, if you're used to that, because, yeah, it's a Gundam, it's, it's a Gundam, it's Gundam-shaped. It should do uh, the same melee swing you expect out of any Gundam. It doesn't. Its neutral swing goes straight. It is basically a straight vertical swing. It behaves very similarly to the Zeta Gundam's default swing. And then there's, uh, and then the down swing is this really nice two-hitter that is just pretty great. But it's, uh, it, it, it is its own pattern and you really kind of have to watch it. I really, there's really no need for me to be coming up here with the Jaeger, because the Jaeger's probably going to be wanting to snipe from a distance, but We've worked so well together up to now, we chased that DJ down, and I just kind of wanted to just stick with it for a while. Just did a great job of uh, shooting over my shoulder and uh, tagging that person when I was basically in their way. That was that was some great work. And now that I'm going to hit this Gundam with all three swings, up swing, down swing. So it has two melee, it has two uh, swings, but the again, the down swing is a two hitter, the up, the up stroke and the down stroke. So I am just going to tag it, and yeah, there's just enough, uh, just enough uh, curvature on that swing that I, I managed to tag that Gundam's foot. But it was not quite, uh, it, it was not quite as solid a uh, connection as it would have been with a standard Federation melee pattern. But that is fine too. There's that DJ again. Hit it uh, the first time, but not the second. This GPO-3 is about to wreck my legs, because of course... Its downswing has that, you know, sweeping bottom, you know, uh, bottom left to top right uh, uh, swing, and that means it hits feet first. So yeah, it took out my legs. Not a lot I can do here. I'm about to tackle forward and try and get to it to melee. Not gonna happen, and I'm not gonna have time to ready up before it kills me. My mistake. But we're doing pretty well so far, 3,600 to 2,300, and just gotta wait. The uh, respawn time, I think, is about 20 seconds. It reads here as 17, both because there's a little bit of a delay with, for your death animation, and because I believe the Gelga Jaeger on our team has the frontline support system skill, which reduces the entire team's respawn time just a little bit. So I we kind of I think the it's the Hyzak custom among other things it has that skill at level two and reduces it by 10 percent. I kind of love to just have a whole team of those just to just to speed up spawns as much as possible. That would be fun. But okay, getting this here, and every so often you'll have a mobile suit that decides to drop on the ground over to the side, and that is hideously annoying. I think it depends on the size of them, and luckily GPO-1 is pretty slim. So, time to find a target, and this person who's near our base back there looks like a good idea, but I decided to go forward and help the team with this GPO-3 instead. Got it with the downswing. I'm gonna get caught in the explosion because somebody ah the, the DJ uh got me from behind and stunned me. 
so I got the heavy stagger from the explosion, but I also got my revenge, even though it took knocking over two of my teammates like a doofus to actually get it done. Don't, don't do that if you can help it. Again, I am not used to GPO1's melee patterns yet, so I was certainly not intending to knock my teammates over. Okay, so we've got a good lead now, 68, 14 to 39, 30. They're spawning back in together, but there is one person approaching from the left who is not quite with the rest of the team. That could end up being useful, but right now, just going after that GPO3 again, which for some reason, I think it just, it may have gotten caught on the edge of the ledge. The ledges on this stage are kind of a problem, honestly. They, you can get caught very, very, very easily and just kind of hang there in the air. The, man, the first game I remember having that problem with was uh, Star Wars Jedi Power Battles for the PlayStation 1, where it had the added problem of you could get caught on the edge of a platform and hang there as though you were falling, and eventually there was, there was a basically a terminal velocity in those games, so if you fell long enough, you died. So you could get caught on the edge of a, edge of a platform, not be able to get off, and just be killed because of the game's bad collision detection. I really wanted to like that game. It was almost a pretty decent game, and it just could not get there. But it was more fun in multiplayer, though. That 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 it had going for it. That was a virtue, but on its own, so annoying. Okay, so yeah, there is the DJ to my right. They are catching up pretty well. We had a more substantial lead, but I think a bunch of the team got wiped here. I don't want to go too far forward, because there are things that will probably kill me if I get too close to the team, but did a quick uh, a quick dodge backwards, because I wanted to uh, just get out of range of things. Missed that uh, GPO-1, but teammate got it, and I got the kill. The important thing is the kill gets got, but you know, sometimes, man, sometimes uh, kill steals uh, can be annoying, I know, especially tonight the clan match goal for the week I finished it off it's Tuesday evening as I'm recording this and it was get over 3,000 points in a support I did that like the last six times we needed to get the token and yeah when you're aim trying to get that kill stealing is really hideously annoying sometimes when you want when you want a bunch of assists it's not that bad but that oh man that but dodge rolled in because I uh, wanted to follow up, but none of my attacks are ready. But I'm also trying not to hit my teammates uh, quite as much here, as you can probably tell from what I'm doing. But got the DJ, and then I think I knocked two people over again because I really, I, if I, I didn't realize it was dead when I committed to the downswing. That was my mistake. So now trying to be a little more careful. I just ca got caught in another explosion though, so. That is going to end the round. So, yeah, I was I was not careful enough with my melee there, but I do like the GPO one, and it does pretty well. Um, yeah, 4,200 points. I think that's pretty solid. And let's see what the final tally of kills and such is. Uh, 7 to 2. Not bad at all. That is going to do it for today's Gundam Battle Operation 2. We will be back soon with more, so till next time, everybody take care and have fun. Later! This is probably pretty well known, but the GPO-1 and GPO-2 were both designed by uh, Shoji Kawamori, who worked on Macross, but also... Uh, worked on uh, at Takara for a time and is said to have been one of the people who worked on the original Optimus Prime toy. So he did a couple of newer versions over the last couple of decades that are interesting, too. I always wanted to get one of them.